Yeah, 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 sir. Uh, yeah, is screen is uh, visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, put it in chat box. Okay, uh, and if you want to give any response, put it in chat box. I will see in chat box through. Okay, uh, do this. Uh, do this question. Then how many number of sources? Here, what is the formula for uh, number of surjectives? Number of surjectives yes. from a set of Uh, what is the formula n power m minus n c one n minus one power m plus n c two n minus two power m so on. Now substitute. What is n is equal to three here? Three power four minus what is three c one three. 3 minus 1, 2 power 4 plus 3 c 2, 1 power 4. Yeah, do this and you get the answer. Okay. And next question is consider two sets. Here, given A and B are two sets, the total number of functions from A to B. Yeah. What is the formula for total number of functions for A to B? Codomain power domain. Yeah. Now tell me how many elements in the codomain? Five elements. How many elements in the domain? Three elements. Total how many? 125. 125. The total number of functions from A to B is 125. This is the correct one. It is a multi selected question, means more than one option is correct. This total number of functions from A to B is 234. This is the wrong one. The total number of 1 1 functions from A to B. Yeah. How to find the total number? Of, what is the first condition? If the number of elements in A is less than or equal to number of elements in B. In this case, one one function, uh, one one functions are exist. Here, three is less than is y. Okay, uh, what is the formula now? Phi p three. Sorry, phi p three. What is the phi p three? Phi factorial by two factorial. Phi minus three factorial. That is two factorial. This is equal to phi into three into. Sorry, phi into four into three. This is equal to 60. Okay. The total number of 1 1 functions is 60. And the total number of 1 1 functions is 120. It is a wrong answer. Here is the correct options are A and C. Okay. This type of questions, uh, this is the CSIR question uh, in 2015, I think. This is also CSIR question. Uh, in JLDL exam also, they may ask like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One one means injective, onto means subjective. It is correct now. Uh, bijection one one and onto that means bijection. Okay. Now today we are going to discuss the countable sets. Before going to discuss about countable sets, let's look at what is the finite set.
Okay. Yesterday we discussed about finite set. Yesterday we discussed about sets. Now we we are discussing going to discuss about finite sets. We know that n is the set of all natural numbers. One, two, three, four, five. So going on. Okay. I am using the symbol n m is for set of all elements one, two, three, up to m. Okay. Here, n five means one, two, three, four, five. Okay. N six means one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Like this. Finite set. A set is said to be finite. A set S is said to be to be finite. There exists a small n such that there is a there is a bijection from. from n m here you have the register on m n m two yes if there exists a bijection from n m to s then we say s is a finite set and we can also say s is a finite set which containing m elements now you can see this is a set of all ovals a e i o u Okay, this is a finite set. Why it is a finite set? If you take n is equal to five, okay, one, two, three, four, five. From n five to yes, we have a bijection. We can map a map to one, e map to two, i map to three, o map to four, u map to five. This is the bijection function. Okay. Yes. Then we can say S is a finite set. The set which is contain finite elements, we can say it is a finite set. Now we can. What is the infinite set? A set is. Infinite set. Infinite set. A set which is not finite. A set which is which is not finite. Finite is called infinite set. Okay, now look at these sets. A set of all natural numbers. This is the infinite set. It has infinite many elements. You can take a set of all rational numbers. This is also infinite set. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, this is also infinite set. You can take z. Yeah, we can give so many examples. Z plus okay. These are the example for the infinite set. In some books, they started uh, directly countable set. In some books, uh, they given a uh, for denumerable definition, and uh, after that, uh, they define the uh, countable definition. You can say, say you can see here in NP Bali, 
first they give an definition for the denumerable set or enumerable these are both are same a set is said to be denumerable if it is equivalent to today what is the equivalent suppose before starting the definition i want i will go into say equivalent suppose two sets are equivalent suppose equivalent uh, definition equivalent equivalent when two sets are said to be equivalent um, a is equivalent to equivalence relation it is equivalence to equivalence to b we can say there exist a bijection function there exist a bijection a from a to b then we say a is equivalent to equivalence equivalence to a is equivalence to b okay when we say a is equivalence to b if there exists a bijection from a to b then we say a is equivalence to b okay suppose you take 1 2 3 and a b c these two sets are equivalent because always there exists a bijection between these two sets okay in finite set in finite sets in finite sets number of elements in a is equal equal to number of elements in b that implies a is equivalence to a is equivalence to b when a is equivalence to b the number of elements in a and number of elements in b are equal in this is a infinite sets not infinite set infinite sets but what about infinite sets suppose a is equal to Yeah, if I take a is equal to set of all natural numbers, I will I take b is equal to set of all even natural numbers. N belongs to here n. These two are equivalent here, here, here. A is equivalent to b. Why? Because why? Because why? Because as here f is a function from natural numbers to here uh, natural numbers means a f is a function from a to b f of n is defined as a 2n this is a 1 1 and on to function this is 1 1 on to function you can verify verify and this implies this is bijection which means a is equivalent to b like this here look at in finite sets is there any proper subset equivalent to suppose a is Yeah, proper subset and improper subset. Trivial means trivial subsets means trivial. Trivial subsets of A means that this empty set and A, these two are subset. We we can call as trivial subsets. Trivial subsets. Hmm. and other subset subset suppose if you take 1 2 uh this is my a here empty set and this set a are called trivial and this singleton 1 and singleton 2 these two subsets are called proper proper subset okay suppose b is said to be proper subset of a b is a proper subset of a proper there exists an element which is 
belongs to B, but B not belongs to A. At least one element like this. Then we can say proper subset. Okay. If A is finite set, no no proper subset equivalent to A. No proper subset proper subset is equivalence to equivalence to a because every proper set number of elements in a suppose this phi uh, the proper sets are number of elements proper sets is less than phi in finite sets a is equivalence to b number of elements in a equal to number of elements in b but here that is the contradiction. Suppose B is a proper subset of A, the number of elements in B is always with the number of elements in A. But if A is equal to B, the number of elements in A, a number of has to equal, but it is not equal. Hence, there is a no proper subset equivalence to A. In, in case of infinite sets, always there is a proper subset. If A is infinite set, if A is infinite set is infinite set always there is a proper subset always there is a proper subset b equivalence to equivalence to a now look at a set of all natural numbers this is one, two, like this. Uh, take B is equal to set of all. Uh, stuff. Uh, give, uh, look at the proper subset. Two, four, six, eight. This is the proper subset. B is a proper subset of natural number. And B is equivalent to two. B is equivalent to two natural number. Okay. Yeah. In infinite set, always there is a proper set sets, which is equivalent to two that's it okay uh remember this is a very important okay now everybody understand the what is equivalence uh, relation in sets and what is the equivalence relation equivalence means a set two sets are said to be equivalent there is a bijection between those two sets okay at the time we can say a and b are equivalent is everybody understand is it trivial is sir is it trivial yeah. is it is uh, improper sir Tri trivial subset is not improper we can say empty set and the whole set are the sorry we can say trivial and improper that is this proper means those sets which are trivial and improper are both are same in okay. some books they say empty set is trivial and whole set is a improper subset. In some books, uh, they said empty set and whole set are both are trivial and improper set. Okay. Oh, but okay. proper, which okay. means it is a proper subset. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Non trivial. So this is not non trivial. Yeah. Non trivial. Yeah. Proper means non trivial. Okay. Improper means trivial. Improper and trivial are the both are same words. Proper and non trivial are both are same words. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now look at A set is said to be denumerable. It is an equivalent to natural number, which means a set of nature. Ah, uh, yeah. Which what is the meaning of that? There exists a bijection between natural numbers to the set. Okay. Here see there exists a function f which is a bijection from the set A. To natural number okay at that time we can say a is equivalence to n okay like this you can also say the register by bijection between natural numbers to a both are correct at this time this is the a is equivalent to n okay what is a countable set a set is said to be countable if either a is finite set 
okay are denumerable set what is the meaning of denumerable there exist a bijection from natural numbers to this set okay a set to be countable a has to be finite or there exist a bijection from natural numbers to that set okay at that time we can say a is countable look at the set Yes. Here, look at this set. If this set is countable or not? This set is countable or not? This set is countable. This set is countable. Why this set is countable? It is a finite set. Hence, it is countable. Now, take natural numbers. Natural numbers set 1, 2, 3, so on. Is natural numbers is countable? The natural numbers is countable because always there exists a bijection between natural numbers to natural numbers. Okay, what is that bijection function? f of x is equal to x. This is the bijection. Bijection. Hence, hence the natural number set is countable. The natural number set is countable. Now you can take the set all set of all even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, so on. Okay. Here, uh, okay. The, the, I am giving the name of the set is suppose S one. This is. S1 is the set of all even natural numbers. Take this bijection, natural numbers to S1. What is the bijection function exist here? F of n is equal to 2n. Okay, this is a bijection. Bijection function. This is a bijection function. Which means this S1 is countable. Countable. Okay, is everyone understand? Okay, now look at the set. Hmm. Z. If Z is countable, uh, put it in chart box. If Z is countable, if Z is countable, what is the bijection from natural? What is the bijection here? from natural numbers to z okay please uh, please is uh, z is the countable or not uh, yes uh, give reply in chat box if you know is everyone is getting or not countable definition Hello, is everybody understanding or not? Okay, chart box. Clear, sir. It is. It is uh, yeah, it is. Bijections from n to z, sir. Yeah. Is there any bijection from natural numbers to uh, z? Set of all uh, integers. Yeah. Is there any bijection? If it is a if there is a bijection, we can say z is a countable set. Think. Look, look at, look f, at f, f of f of x equal to minus x. F of x is equal to minus x. Uh, it mapping to only neutral number. F of x equal to minus x. Yeah. F that of function is a bijection function. It is not bijection from natural numbers to z. If you take natural number, f of one is minus one. Take the range of this function is here. We get an image of plus one. one. Plus one is also belongs in z. Yeah, plus one belongs to z, but range of this function not is equal to four domain. This is not a onto function. Okay. okay. You, you take this function. F, f of n is equal to 
yen. By two, yen even. Okay. Yen, when n is odd. Minus n by 2 is does not belongs to z. If n yeah. equal to 1. Yeah, n is, n, even, even. 1 is not even. Even, even. even. Okay, correct. Please mute, sir. Matlaal ko nawal matra me on this point. Disturbing system. Please mute. Yeah. Uh, this is the function. Now look at if n of 1 is 1. If n of 2 is minus 1, yeah. If n of 3 is 3, okay. What is if n of 4 is minus 2? You can get 1 minus 1. If n of 2 is 3, you, if you put n plus 1 by Two, what happened? Four by two, you can get two. Okay. Is everyone understanding or not? F four is minus two. You get all plus one minus one plus two minus two. What about zero? Okay. If you want to get zero, if you add one here and you remove one here you can get zero also, okay? If uh, I will, uh, I read, uh, I read the function. Yeah, fn of fn is a function minus n by two plus one, when is n is even, n is, if n is even, in case of n is odd, n plus one by two plus one, then n is r. You can get z. Okay. You can verify that. Yeah. You can verify that if this function is a 1, 1 and on to or not. Okay. You can get 0 also, which means f is a bijection from natural numbers to z. This implies z is, z is countable. Z is countable set. Okay. Z is countable. Always remember. Z is countable. Z is countable. Now you can verify also 2Z, 3Z. Uh, this 2Z. You can uh, always uh, 0 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 4. This is also countable. I can give any any subset subset of countable any subset of countable set is countable any subset of countable set is countable this is a very very important suppose b is suppose b is countable B is countable and suppose A is subset of A is subset of B. That implies A is also countable. A is, A is countable. Okay. B is countable and A is subset of B, I think. B is also countable. Any subset of countable set is countable. Yeah. Now look at the set. Mm. N cross N. Yeah. Before going to N cross N, I will say one thing. The union of countable sets, finite union of countable sets is always countable. Finite union and count, finite, countable union of countable sets is always not arbitrary union. Countable union of countable set is always countable. Countable. Countable union. 
countable union of countable sets countable union of countable set is always always countable what is the countable union what is a finite union what is arbitrary union uh, is anyone anyone know the difference between what is a finite union finite union. finite union which means suppose a1 union a2 union an these are three sets union between finite sets is finite union okay what is a countable union if i union a1 union a2 union a3 union so on so on up to a n union a n plus 1 it is going like that this is a countable union of sets okay what is the arbitrary union here index set suppose uh, you can denote index set by i okay suppose n belongs to index set i okay a n this union here index set may finite may finite it may infinite it may countable it may anything suppose my index set is suppose 1 2 3 what is my union here uh, if if my index set is 1 2 3 union of n belongs to i a n which is equal to a1 union a2 union a3 these notations are very very important okay if my index set is i is equal to natural numbers my union of this n belongs to i a n is nothing but a1 union a2 union a n up to so on this is a r union okay this is a yeah this is a union now look at Union of countable set is countable. Countable union of countable set is countable. Now look at what about n cross n? What is the n cross n? This is the Cartesian product of natural numbers. N comma m such that n belongs to natural numbers and m belongs to natural numbers. This is the Cartesian product. Is it no? One 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 comma one one comma two and two comma one. These are all the numbers which belongs to n cross n, and this n comma n I written as union of a is. I am defining a one is like this. One is fixing and one comma one and one comma two and one comma three, so on. Yeah, union intersection of countable sets always counter. Why because subset of Count here. See, very good question. A intersection B, A one intersection A two, always subset of A one. This A one is countable. This A one is countable. I said subset of countable set always countable, which means this intersection also countable. Countable. Even, even suppose A is countable. We don't know about A two. And also, it is subset of A one. At this time, also it is countable because subset of countable set is countable. Yeah. Superset, superset of a countable set. Please explain. Yeah, superset of a countable set is not. It may be countable. It may not be countable. Okay, I will. Uh, I didn't say about uncountable set. When I am saying uncountable set, I will explain. Okay. Okay, yeah. Next, A two. I am defining A two. One, sorry, two comma one and two comma two, two comma three, so on. This is the A two. Like that, I am defining A i. I comma one. I comma two. 
so on this this union this natural numbers cross natural numbers this cartesian product is equal to union of all ais i belongs to natural numbers here here my index set is natural number yes or no yeah is this n cross n is co countable or not how to find it is countable or not first of all is this ai sir a1 is countable or not is there any is there any bijection from natural numbers to a1 is there any bijection from natural numbers to a1 yes always there is a bijection if i take f of 1 f of n you can write it as a a1 which means 1 comma n you can get all the elements a1 means 1 comma 1 a2 1 comma 2 a3 1 comma 3 hence this is a bijection this is bijection okay this implies a1 countable a1 is a1 is countable yeah yes or no everyone got it similarly simi similarly ai is ai is countable for every i yes this is countable this union of countable sets is always countable this union of countable sets is always countable this is countable which means this is what is this union of i belongs to natural numbers ai is equal to natural numbers cross natural numbers yes or no is everybody understanding or not natural numbers cross natural number this is countable okay okay yeah and look at this always finite cartesian product of a finest means suppose this n cross n cross n cross n is countable countable now n cross n n cross n cross n up to n times this is n times it is countable okay if you take infinite many times that is not countable okay up to n times it is countable if you take n cross n cross n up to 3 times 4 times 5 times 100 times it is countable okay what is the uncountable set uncountable uncountable set what is the uncountable set this does not suppose suppose a set a set s a set suppose s s is a set a set s is small a a set s is said to be uncountable s said to be uncountable said to be uncountable s is said to be uncountable this does not exist a bijection there does not does not exist a bijection bijection from s to n natural numbers or n to s okay there is there is no bijection which means uh, a set which is not countable is called un uncountable you can say also a set which is not countable a set which is not countable a set which is not countable is called uncountable a set which is not countable we can it is called uncountable okay yeah i will give examples for uncountable so you can take zero comma open intervals this interval what is the meaning of open interval zero man set of all x such that zero is less than x is less than 
if you take any interval this is a uncountable this is uncountable not only this this every every interval this every all intervals x on that a is less than x is less than b these are all uncountable this all are uncountable sets closed sets also a b same what is the meaning of a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b this is uncountable uncountable this is uncountable what when closed set is countable if you take closed set a comma a this is singleton a at that time at that time this is countable because it is a finite set at that time when a comma b a is called b at that time it is countable set okay at that time only at that time only that is countable yeah what about q this is a very very important q set of all set of all rational numbers rational numbers this set of all rational numbers is this set of all rational numbers is countable or not yeah anyone can tell the set of all rational number is it countable or not set of all rational numbers which means set of p by q gcd of p comma q is 1 and p comma q belongs to z and q not is equal to 0 yeah i can write the set of all elements in this set 1 by 1 1 one by minus 1 1 by minus 1 plus 1 by 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 this 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 like this i can write uh, okay and next step minus 1 by 1 minus 1 by minus plus uh, this is 2 by 2 comma Minus two by two, comma. So, ah yeah, two by two, ah yeah. Minus two by three, comma two by three. Like this, if I write write like this, you you will cover all the elements. You will cover all the elements in the set. Okay, is this set? Suppose if I take this is like a one, this is like a two. Uh, again, we are taking this. I borrow is a one. This a a two. this everything this all those things are countable if i take union of these things it always countable you can see q is countable sets always they register bijection i will show what is the bijection here q is q is countable countable set very very important throughout the reasons always we are talking about countable set which is q uh, whenever we talking about denseness everything q is a very very important thing q is countable set which means always there exist a bijection from natural numbers to q okay yes yeah, semi open intervals also uncountable any interval any interval oh semi open open intervals these are uncountable set okay q is countable yeah sir is it possible to have n diagrams n to q into q one diagram i am not understanding venn diagrams for q i uh, using venn diagrams how, how to associate uh, the elements into n to q n is a natural numbers in a yes, a set yeah, yeah. n is yes n inside q 
What is the answer Q? Q is another set B, suppose. Okay. And mappings, uh, how to show uh, arrow marks? One minute, I will show. Yeah. Here is a natural number, which is a subset of Z. Okay. Which is subset of Q. Okay. Q is inside R. Okay. If you take irrational numbers, this is inside R. Yeah. Do you ask this? Yeah. Now look at here. Yeah, I said what is the equivalent uh set finite countable infinite what is the countable set countable set yeah this element i will tell tomorrow but uh, today we will discuss about what is the map yeah here see this cross n cross n is countable set whenever this cartesian finite countable set the finite cartesian product be careful the finite cartesian product only finite cartesian product is countable if you take q plus okay the set of all positive rational numbers is countable because set of all positive rational numbers is subset of set of all rational numbers that's why rational numbers are double This is countable. He said that finite union of countable set is countable. That's why Q is countable. Yeah, here see, here see, this a n is that n by 1 minus n by 1, this n by 2 like this, When wherever I return q in this form, okay, this mapping, this mapping is always bijection, okay, this is a bijection on q. Okay, tomorrow I will explain deeply about why Q, what is the bijection function in Q, why it is a bijection. Yeah, here see, set of all rational numbers is countable. Yeah, set of all rational numbers is countable. Please remember, set of all rational numbers is countable. Q plus set of all partial num rational numbers is subset of Q which is implies Q positive is countable. This is the countable. Uh, same, similarly, Q set of all neutral natural number is subset of Q. Q minus, sorry, this is a minus, is also countable. Okay, these are the important things. Okay, any subset of countable set is R is countable. What about R? Is R is countable? R is uncountable. Un R is uncountable. Uncountable set. Okay. Because 0, 1 is uncountable. 0 and 1 is uncountable set. 
and zero one is similar to we can map there is a map between open interval zero one two or bijective two map zero one is uncountable this implies r is uncountable anyone want to uh, anyone wants to go through np bali book in this book he written clearly np bali np bali np bali this is a book in this book they written everything clearly okay this is a very important book yeah now q complement this is irrational numbers irrational irrational numbers the set of all irrational numbers is is uncountable set of all irrational number is uncountable the set of all real numbers is uncountable set of all real numbers is always uncountable okay how to prove uh, q complement is countable uncountable see, see here we know that r is uncountable r is a union of q complement union q okay here q is suppose assume assume q complement q complement is countable q is we know that q is countable we know but q complement union q is r which is we know uncountable but but what we know union of countable set union of countable set is countable which which is the contradiction which which means our our assumption our assumption is wrong q complement is always uncountable what we assume q is countable which what you get we get contradiction which means q countable always uncountable okay any doubts here today discussion uh, is anyone have doubts the set of all real numbers are always uncountable yeah is there anyone uh, do you have any set do you want to discuss about any set any function is yeah if you have any doubts please ask at today's class if you want to know any set is countable where which set is countable or not you can ask hello ah uh, yeah yeah please anyone if you have no doubts please tell me